What's up, dudes and dudettes? This is Noel on PC, and today, obviously, we're playing KSP again. Um, I had done the shuttle plane things before, the shuttle carriers, but something everybody always commented was, why don't you disconnect the shuttle and fly it back around and land it? So I thought, meh, why not? This will be a quick video, just kind of a, a day filler, just give you guys something to watch. But I thought, why not? I thought it'd be kind of cool, right, to try and detach it and land. Now, we won't be able to land the jet. Okay, we might be able to land the jet. If I can get the shuttle sort of turned around and then sort of in a glide with its engines, speaking of which, let's do this. We're going to disable crossfeed. Get these primed and ready. All right, now I'm hoping Didn't I? What are you opening? Are you opening one underneath? You sketchy motherfucker. Oh, deploy limit. There we go. Okay, there's nothing in there? Good. Perfect. Perfect. I don't want to be carrying any kind of weird payload. Getting horrible frames, because this thing is huge. There's so many parts. You can see all these panels, all these individual panels. Um, people have said, why don't you use bigger panels? Well, you couldn't make it round if you use bigger panels, right? I had to use small panels to make it rounded because uh, I had to custom make a whole fuselage that didn't weigh a bajillion tons. I also wanted it to be hollow so that someday I could even put a moving nose cap on this. Like if, if KSP ever gives us the nose equivalent of the cargo ramp, right? Something like this, but for the front, for the nose, for a rounded front nose, Oh, we'll be laughing. We can actually use this thing as cargo. Okay, so let's get this thing up. Get some throttle. Little glance at the asteroid museum over there. Because they're individual parts, they don't actually contribute a ton of lag. There's, there's probably like 30 or 40 parts up on the top there, but right now all this lag is coming down to our craft. Now, can't help but notice. I was going to say, I can't help but notice we're not really rolling forward yet, but there it goes. It's starting to roll forward. So I thought maybe the engines were thrust blocked a bit. But no, they're good. They're Gucci. All right, we're just going to fight these frames for a second while it starts to build up some speed. Once we get away from Cape Curb Navarro, it'll help a little bit with the frames. But again, still, this this is a lot of parts. You can, I mean, you can tell right away. There's like 10 or 15 wing segments to get the wing shape right. There's like 400 parts just in fuselage. There's like a dozen wheels, <laughs> a bunch of struts. Like, it really, it adds up fast. That rocket ship on the top, the shuttle, is... Uh, I actually can't remember how many pieces it is. I think it was about 350 or something like that, if memory serves me correctly. Just like the real Myra, Mira, it is slow going. Let's see how we're doing this way. Okay, we're drifting to the right a little bit. Going to start correcting. It's funny that we're controlling from up here. Oh, no, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Oh, they're all in here. Oh, that's going to be troublesome. Sorry about that bong. That is a, uh, <laughs> that is the movie editing coming to a close. There we go. That's a, that's a, a future video that just finished, actually, ironically. That's very meta, isn't it? You're watching a video and you just heard the dong for, like, the previous video. So, like, yesterday's or the day before yesterday's, that was the bong for that video. You just time traveled. Whoa! Okay, so we're at 112 meters a second. Not really not really gathering up speed the way I'd hoped. I kind of forgot that this thing was just a total slug. But even at 120, we are airborne. So it doesn't have to be fast. It just has to be good. Let's get the landing gear up. Perfect. Nice and slow. Don't know what that was. All right, pushing 125 meters a second. That's about 250 miles an hour. That is actually pretty zippy. 
You just can't tell because we're at 10 frames a fucking second. So we are accelerating. Let's get the nose up a little more. All right, nose is up. Let's see if we can accelerate. We are accelerating. Perfect. All right. So why don't we just do a very quick little star wipe and get up to like, I don't know, basically high enough that I think we could separate the shuttle and not absolutely just destroy ourselves. All right, and star wipe. All right, I think this is probably as good as we're going to get. At some point, we're going to start stalling out and falling back to Earth. Man, these, this uh, stock visual enhance, enhancement pack is fucking awesome. Like, look at this. This is just glorious. What it does do, as you start to get near cloud, it does nerf the frame rate, though. You're right, we were getting 10 when we left Cape Curb Navarro. We're getting, like, 7 now. So it chisels away at 3, 4 frames. But look at it. It's just glorious. So Cape K is quite a ways behind us, 16 kilometers, far enough that this thing's probably going to have to do a lot of flying. Um, like I said earlier, there's no one in this this pod. This pod is empty. So when this thing goes, it's just it's it's just going to be gone. So we have all of our crew in the space shuttle. So let's pretend we're doing an abort. Um, I actually don't know what to do. We're controlling from here already, just doing that just in case. I know I'm going to have to like pull back like crazy. Let's get the engines on, actually. Okay, I don't want those engines. Those are bad engines. Let's do this and that. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Just let those spool up just a bit. We, we won't need much in the way of thrust. Just going to get the nose back up a little bit. We'll probably... I want to say that we want to do a dive upon release. But I but I actually don't, I don't know. I know that I'm going to do that. I'm going to burn RCS. And RCS from the back. Okay, K and H. All right, moment of truth, fam. Here we go. Here we go. In three, two, clouds. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Oh, it worked. It worked. Oh my god, that was so fucking cool. Yep, this thing is dead in the water. It's it's pilotless. <laughs> uh, okay. Thanks for the lift, bro. I mean, we can probably, like, dip down and go say hi. Maybe. It's going 125. I can't get the speed up that high, so nope. We're going to boogie out. All right, let's do a real hard G-turn. See you, buddy. Thanks for the lift. Godspeed, friend. Godspeed, Antonov, 225. The Mira, the dream. The dream is alive. Chasing the dreams. Making dreams come true. We're a dream factory. All right, I'm going to turn RCS off because that's just redundant. I don't even want to see that shit anymore. All right, so now we just have to fall 23 kilometers. And we're going to do that at full throttle just so it doesn't take as long. And we're going to put this thing down. And then you all can finally shut the fuck up in the comments section. I did it. I disconnected from the shuttle car carrier. And now, yeah, that's super goofy. Just sticking out the bottom. Oh, that's not going to... Um, oh no. Oh, right. I disabled landing gear. Yeah, I think I disabled landing gear, so I'm going to have to bring them all down manually like this. Yeah, what, like gear, the, the toggle gear action is a thing in... When you're building a craft, there's like a section where you can go in and make custom commands. There's one for gear and I took away gear. So I can press these gear buttons all day and they don't do anything. Uh, the reason being was that craft with the shuttle on top, if I put the landing gear down, it'll bust through the roof of the Mira, right? It'll push the shuttle up as it's trying to stand up on top of the Mira or on top of the 747. So I had to disable the gear. I'm worried that there might be a little bit of contact, but no, it doesn't, doesn't look like it. All right, let's get level a bit, because we got a ways to go. Another 20 kilometers. We're in pretty much a perfect... Um, a perfect sort of angle. We're at basically 90. 
well, 270, because we're going backwards. But we're equatorial, and we're going right at Cape K, right perfectly towards the runway. I can't seem to get this thing level. Too much roll. It's always a problem. If you have too much roll, you're trying to do Q and E, and it just gets a little tweaky. All right, so we are, we got glorious frames now, getting just a bajillion frames. Oh, shit. All right, just going to pull back a bit because we need some height. So we're losing speed, but I'm creating height just so that when we do lose our engine in about 90 seconds, we can just coast down using our 160 miles an hour. You know, I thought I thought that fuel was going to be a big issue. We're on air, right? Yeah, good. <laughs> but for a second, are we on like rocket engine? But no, we're on air breathing. Yeah, that's that's more than enough fuel. We got we still got 60 seconds of fuel left. So let's put the uh, I just pressed I just pressed gear to put the landing gear down. I'm going to get these down early just because it's going to take so long to do this that if I did this approaching the runway, we'd probably certainly die, right? <laughs> All right. Good clean re-entry. Well, re I shouldn't say re-entry, but you know, good good detachment to runway um, stuff. Going through the checklist, everything's going a-ok -okay so far. Probably don't need much in the way of motors. Actually, 130 meters a second. I don't need motors at all. Nor do I need air brakes or anything. We're just going to coast in. We're a little bit off target, a little bit to the left. Let's see if we can get her back around to the right. All right, that is pretty good. Again, what I'm doing is I'm using the front wheel like a crosshair. If I look right down the center of the spine of the craft, right, using, you know, a hypothetical center line, I use the front wheel like a crosshair to sort of line up my shot, so to speak. All right, coming in about 180 miles an hour or so. Oh, come on, come on, 100 miles an hour. Boink. That was pretty clean. Oh, both parachutes. Yeah, whatever. Actually, it looks kind of cool with both parachutes out. I should do that from now on, shouldn't I? It helps with the stop, but it's actually it's too much stop. That was that was like way too aggressive of a stop. There was actual G-force there. All right, guys. So there we did it. You can finally shut the fuck up in the comment section. The Mira, the 747. Stop commenting. Stop telling me to separate them and fly them back. I've done it. Go away. <laughs> Watch, I guarantee you, I guarantee you guys are such good trolls. You always do this to me. The first like eight comments are going to be people going, you should totally detach the shuttle from the Mira and fly it back. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I hate you guys. I'm kidding. I love you guys. <laughs> guys, I hope you like the video. I hope you share. I hope you comment. I hope you tell me what you're playing. I hope you tell me what you're building in KSP. Do all those things you guys do as YouTubers. Until next time, guys. Peace, love, cheers.